The Association of Professional Women Engineers in Nigeria, APWIN, is set to eliminate the underrepresentation of women in engineering by sensitizing the public right from school to recognize the relevance of engineering in the socioeconomic development of the country. Speaking during the inauguration of APWIN's 17th president, the former governor of Ondo State, Olusegun Mimiko, encouraged more women to develop themselves in the engineering sector. The newly elected president of APWIN, Dr. Elizabeth Eterigo, says some programs are in place to build the capacity of the young females to help them develop employability skills and entrepreneurial skills. And joining us now to discuss the relevance of engineering in the economic development of Nigeria is the president of the Association of Professional Women Engineers, Dr. Elizabeth Eterigo. Uh, good to have you join us on the program. So, Thank you for uh, having me. me. Yes, uh, let me uh, quickly start by asking, you know, it's one thing to actually encourage women uh, to, uh, to, to the engineering uh, sector, uh, but it's also another thing if they don't have a natural uh, uh, aptitude. Won't your efforts be futile at the end of the day if those uh, uh, women don't have the aptitude for, for uh, engineering? Oh, not at all. What happens is that you need to build them up, and that is what we are out doing. You know, one thing with the girl child particularly is that they are very, very inquisitive. They want to know. So if you let a child to know that these things are what you can do, just tell them they love to go to try it out, and you see them coming out to, to do that. I think the, the issue why, where, why we are where we are today is because the information is not really getting across to them. Well, but a lot of um, females, I, I wouldn't just say females, a lot of people are afraid of the sciences, you know, which are subjects you need to study in school before you can do um, engineering. So mm -hmm. how do you encourage, you know, more girls, you know, to go to the sciences? Okay, that, that we have, uh, we know that girls, most of the time, they get scared when you talk about mathematics. So they don't want to hear it. And you don't know mathematics, you can't do physics. And you can't even, even do chemistry. And with those courses, you can't become an engineer. So what we try to do is to have programs now that we want to introduce. We, you know, STEM is very important. So we want to introduce a program tag, Fun STEM. That is teaching STEM, you know, in a funny way, making them re in a conducive environment. Sorry, just for the purposes of our viewers who do not understand what STEM is, can you just okay. specify exactly okay. what you're talking about? Yeah, STEM is uh, science. In technology, mathematics, and engine—I mean, engineering and mathematics. Okay. That's what STEM is all about. And STEM is the basis for any development in any nation because it has to do with engineering. Uh, what we intend to do is to make sure that when you are teaching these subjects, you don't teach them in an abstract form. The problem we have is that you teach the student theory, and so they don't know the practicality about it. They don't have the, the, the sense. They cannot con conceptualize what you're talking about. But when you're teaching them and you have something in your phone to demonstrate what it's all about, you see the, the children tend to listen very well. And then because there's a, a program going on, something is going on in their brain, they are focused on what you are doing and they want to see themselves doing it. So by so doing, they, you, you arouse their curiosity. They want to try their hands on it. And then you let them know that you can do these things. So it's not as abstract as we are thinking. But we discovered that most schools in Nigeria are teaching, even to university levels, our teachings are mostly theoretical. So this program, we make this teaching of STEM subjects as practical as possible. And it sounds like quite an amazing program. Um, it's one thing to lure the girl child in and to get them interested in these programs, but how do they keep them there? So my question to you, as someone who's worked in the industry, in a male-dominated industry, obviously this is why uh, AppWine has been set up to um, encourage and support the females within the uh, uh, engineering sector. What has your experience been like within a male-dominated uh, industry? The uh, challenges and also the uh, I guess the benefits, um, there has to be some benefits of being just a small uh, cluster of women, but there mm. has to be quite a few challenges that you have uh, gone through. How can you encourage girls to go through those challenges and actually continue on to be um, engineers as a full-time okay. profession? So, thank you very much for that. From my own experience, the challenge, right, is a solution to me. Because the challenge is that if the male can do it, I should see myself doing it. When we were in school, there was no special lecturer 
or teacher that was assigned to me were all in the same class with the male and the female. So we were taught the same way. And you discover that some of us come out better than the males. So we tell them, and then we have some program called role models. We, we go to these children and show them role models. These are people I've gone through. And if they can do it, you can. So we think of that meant I can do it mentality. Let them see that they can do these things. And you see, by so doing, they're encouraged. There's a program, actually, that I did in Niger State. And that has to do with, you know, one thing is, like you said, is to bring them to the, to the school. Another issue is to retain them in that school. And what you do is to have, you know, advocacy using the, the, the rulers, maybe from their village health. You let them know the importance of education, particularly for a girl child. There's a popular saying that says when you train a girl, you train a whole nation. But when you train a male, you're just an individual. Because this girl will pass it on to the next generation. Well, Dr. Elizabeth Terrigo, thank you so much for joining us on Newsday.